November 9th. I don't have any pets, so I can't write about one. And especially I can't write a poem about one. November 15th. Yes, I used to have a pet. I don't want to write about it. You're going to ask me why not, right? November 22nd. Pretend I still have that pet? Can't I make up a pet a different one? Like a tiger or a hamster, a goldfish, turtle, snail, worm, flea? November 29. I like those small poems we read today. When they're small like that, you can read a whole bunch in a short time. And then in your head are all the pictures of all the small things from all the small poems. I liked how the kitten leapt in the cat poem and how you could see the long head of the horse in the horse poem. And especially I like the dog in the dog poem because that's just how my yellow dog used to lie down with his tongue all limp and his chin between his paws and how he'd sometimes chomp at a fly and then sleep in his loose skin, just like that poet Miss Valerie Worth says in her small dog poem. December 4. Why do you want to type up what I wrote about reading the small poems? It's not a poem, is it? I guess you can put it on the board if you want to, but don't put my name on it in case other people think it's not a poem. December 13. I guess it does look like a poem when you see it typed up like that. But I think maybe it would look better if there was more space between the lines, like how I wrote it the first time. And I like the picture of the yellow dog you put beside it. But that's not how my yellow dog looked. <laughs>